Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to have a look at the new autograd update which has gotten a facelift regarding the actual uh, looks of it. And we got some new interesting timings in the actual sequencer now. So you can choose to have in triplet timing, like straight ordinary timing, triplet timing and also dotted timing. And there's also been some under the hood work on the uh, coding of the sequencer as far as I understand it. I don't know the details about it, but it should be more tighter if that makes sense. And you can see now that we have a loop option over here, which is by default off. And then you can choose to have it in, uh, loop it in eighth note timing. If you hover over the values. Yeah, loop every one eighth, fourth, sec uh, half a bar, bar, two bars, four bars, eight bars, and up to 16 bars. You can see the history of the seeds been playing over here. If you want to go back to a seed that you really like, you just copy this and then type it over here. Hit enter and you got your seed number. You can also save it over here. It's a little text. So if you wanna, um, this can be good to do. So in case you save your project, you want to go back to it and want to save the seed, you can just type it in here so you know which seed it was playing uh, at that given moment. And then you have the sends and routing over here. This one uh, I've shown before. Um, what I didn't explain was, was the reroute outputs, but I can show you guys how that, that works in a minute. So what I've done so far, we have a little, b uh, a little beat going on over here. Kick and bass, and some percussions and loops. Um, and for the actual sounds, just a random FM patch with my one of my way tables from side tables volume three, I think. The next one, similar concept. And then you have a format. This is from my upcoming Waytable pack, Side Tables Volume 4, which I'm still making. And then you have a complete note on random. With a beat repeat. So let's uh, try the new um, timings on Autogrid. So I'm going to set everything to dotted over here. And maybe have an eighth. And I'm going to take off the loop. We need to mark all of these guys, send them to the sense only. And I already routed it correctly inside of Autogrid, but you take, you check the channel name. Okay, so it's 37, it goes into input one, and then you just choose it right here and you're done. And now you can just do, just set up a new track so you record the output and you're done. So let's say we have a sequence there and then we can save that one. And then you've got the gating, which can be interesting. So this one will take, so let's say you're playing, let's say the sequencer is playing a, a one eighth and then you have a, then it hits the somewhere around between 50% and 100%. If it hits 50%, that means it's gonna play one sixteenth of that length. So let's try it out.
So, and then I can show you how you do the rerouting, which is pretty a pretty nice feature, which I haven't really thought of before, is that you can reroute each input into another channel. So let's say, uh, which means that I can record each input in AutoGrid separately. So I'm going to send the input one to AutoTrack 41, input two to track 42, input three to track 43, and input four to track 44. And then I have to remove the recording over there. So it's not recording from the actual AutoGrid itself. And then I can just arm all of these tracks and watch what happens. So now we have all of these sounds separated in our own channels, which can be very handy if you still want to have more control of the actual sequences and maybe do some micro edits to them. Because if we solo these guys, uh, or actually, let's just do like that. <laughs> and, you know, go back like so. Which is going to make it easier for you to introduce the sounds over time, if that makes sense. Um, other stuff is that you can have an internal sidechain. I guess this is useful if you have a lot of like sounds that are takes up a lot of the frequency space. This will do a sidechain to the kick. Um, not sure if I'm going to use it that much. I like having all the sounds playing and control that by myself, but we can try it out and see how it sounds. Just need to turn these guys off. You also have the play probability as well. I like to use this one in conjunction with a loop. So let's say... So the gating should now be a four bar loop when I initiated the four over here. Uh, let's take a smaller loop. Because that means I can introduce my loop over time.
let's try some swing to that. I think it's more obvious if you use swing with straight timing. So the options there for you if you want to use some incorporate some swing into your sequences. So yeah, I think uh, that's basically everything I had to showcase with the new auto grid. Um, I really like the new interface. Um, you can see much more clearly what's going on and it's more logically laid out in, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. Um, I'll see you in the next one.